Let's talk about the power of a positive test, positive result. I see a patient, he tells me he is allergic to a specific item, example, cats. But he doesn't know whether he is sensitive to other things because he's never been tested. Yet he identifies the cats as his allergy because he knows when he's around them that he gets symptoms. And he loves his cats and he wants to be around them and he doesn't want to give them up. I can test him. If I test him and I identify the cats as a positive result, but I've also identified dust as a positive result and mold as a positive result, and the three things together are enough in his exposure to give him symptoms, the power of the positive result is that it's given me information as a clinician to sit down with the patient and say, if you can mitigate your dust exposure, if you can reduce your mold exposure, and you can still have the cats and love your cats, if I can bring your total allergen exposure below a level that is your level for symptoms, then a magical thing's going to happen. Your body will not produce enough IgE antibodies to make you symptomatic, and you will be happy and healthy, and you will still have your cats. If we can't do that, then I've got medication I could use in addition to the avoidance to get you well. But that's the power of the positive result. 